Hey guys, I thought it would be fun to play a game today. So I'm going to draw pictures and I'm going to tell you the shapes that I'm using to draw the pictures or how I'm drawing it. And I want you to use your mind, your imagination, and try to see those things in your mind and guess what it is. Okay? So I'm going to start with something that is can be brown. And I'm going to make an oval and then I'm going to make another oval beside it that's going to be like a head for it. This is an animal. I'm going to do two ears, two eyes, a nose and a mouth. This animal has four legs and a tail. Now my clue, I have two clues. One is that this animal wags its tail when it's excited. And my second clue is it begins with the letter D. Do you have a guess? It is a dog. Good job, guys. Next, I'm going to draw something that is green. And I'm going to make kind of a curvy line. So I'm going to make a long curvy line. At the end of the line, I'm going to make a round head, small, small round head. And I'm going to put some eyes on it and give it a red tongue sticking out of its mouth. What do you think that would be? It starts with the letter S. And if I saw one of these in my yard, it might scare me a little bit. Although I have held a couple of these in my life and they are fun to hold if you know they're safe. It is a snake. Next. I'm going to make, now listen real careful on this one. I'm gonna take yellow and I'm gonna make an upside down triangle, which Triangles, instead of the thin, skinny point sticking up, it's going to stick down. So it's going to look like, I can't show you with this in my hand. I'll show you in a minute. It's going to be like a triangle, but the thin part is going to be done like that. Okay? And then on top of that triangle, I'm going to put a pink circle. And on top of the pink circle, I'm going to put some different color little dots. Now, my clue for this is that it starts with the letter I. It is sweet and it is cold. It's a sweet treat that's cold and comes in an upside down triangle sometimes. It has sprinkles. It is an ice cream cone. Yay, good job guys. The next one I'm gonna do is an animal and I'm gonna use pink. So I'm gonna make an oval for the body and give it four legs. I'm gonna make a round face with triangle ears, two eyes, a round nose with two dots also called a snout and the tail is going to be curly and in real life this animal is pink and it starts with the letter P. What do you think it could be? A cute pig! Yay! Good job! Next thing that we're going to make is something that you can eat and it can be, I'm going to make a circle the circle can be brown or tan, um, maybe white, really be lots of different colors, but I'm going to use brown and I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to put some dots on it. My clue for this one is it starts with the C. It's a sweet treat and it's really good dipped in milk the shape of a circle. It is a 
cookie. Good job. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is something that you may have, you are probably talking about this week, and you may have already made a craft that looks like this. So I'm going to use blue, and I'm going to make a very big rectangle. And inside that big rectangle, I'm going to make a small rectangle in the corner. Okay, I'm going to use my blue and draw some stars. And I'm doing it very quickly, so they actually don't look a whole lot like stars, but they're supposed to be stars. And then I'm going to make a pattern of red, white, red, white, red, white stripes. So think about red, white, and blue, stars, and stripes, and what you've been talking about this week. And what do you think that I am drawing? Starts with the letter F. It is, what's your guess? It's a flag. Not just any flag, the American flag. Good job, you guys. Okay, we're going to do two more, and then we're going to be finished. The next one is a little more challenging. You're really going to have to think about this one. I'm going to make two brown lines going up right beside each other, and I'm going to color them in. So two brown lines going up and brown in the middle. And then I'm going to take a green and I'm going to make swirly, swirl, swirl, swirls in the shape of an oval. Green all over the top of it. And then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to make some little dots on top of the green. And my hint is the red dots are something that you could eat that grow somewhere. It grows on the picture, on the thing that I'm drawing. It starts with a letter T. You probably have one in your yard and you may even be able to climb one. It's a tree. Good job. Did you get that one? Last one. I'm going to use green and I'm going to make a bunch of lines. Line, 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 line. Up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. All over. My paper. Lots of lines. And my clue is, or my hint is, you will find this outside. It is green. It starts with G. And I kind of like to walk in it without shoes on because it feels soft on my feet. It is grass. You guys, I had a lot of fun with this game and I hope you did too. I hope you were able to guess some of them. This is something you can do with your family and it helps you really think, okay, if I think in my brain there's an oval and oval, it helps you see these pictures in your mind and kind of helps you grow your brain muscles. So it's a fun activity and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.